when my 14 year old sister shoots my OnlyFans content. Damn, the title. This can't be real. My extraordinary family. My name is Chloe, I am 29, and I am an adult content creator. I have four children. So my oldest what? is- What? Where's the father? At least have the dad take the pictures. Where's the dad? Her name is Ray. I have a son, he is Reese. He is seven years old. I have twin daughters that are identical. You, she they are six Reese. years old. And Look at these names. They are 29 with four kids. She must have had these early. Here she was banging them out back to back all 20. You guys know what you want to name your kids? Um, I, I'm banging on having twins and that's it. Hopefully boys, hopefully a set of twins and I'm done. Really? I just want, I just want, I need to have two. I, I realize that I don't want to have one just by himself. Three sounds like too much. Two, I just need people to have a, they need to have a lookup partner. So yeah. I'll keep them like close in age to where like they can do stuff, not like a six year gap, maybe two or three, but I'm banking on twins, so. Mm. Banking on twins, <laughs> that's a, there's a lot of twins and all of, on both sides for my parents and grandparents and it goes, it keeps skipping all them. So I, I hope, hope I get it. Mm. I heard it was something like the sex position you do. I heard about that. I heard it was really like it. Bro. Doggy I'm style. Tired. Doggy <laughs> style. I'm trying to get a fucking boy or something. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't hear that though too. I heard it was like, if she's on top, it's this. If you're doing this, it's that. Which is probably complete hoopla. I'm just saying the, the new age names are stupid. How many kids do I want? I need two. Yeah, for sure two, but I, I think I'd be cool with four, Matt. <laughs> Four. Yeah. Rob's house about to be lit. I know I want to name one Leo after Leonardo DiCaprio. And I was thinking Trey after Trey songs. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I grew up on listening to Trey Did songs. Did your girl get a say in this? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, but I am doing Leo though. And August, after August, I'll see it. I've thought of a girl name for some reason. I don't know why, I just like it. Isla. Okay. See, it's kind of nice. That's what I'm saying. That is unique, but not unique to the point where it's like Reese, R-H-Y-S. No, that one threw me off. Oh, and um, I like the name Audrey also, but. After Drake? After Drake. <laughs> oh, that's, that's Aubrey. Aubrey, bro. Oh, okay, 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 my, 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 my. Audrey. Audrey and after. August and Leo. I'll have three. Damn. Okay, I can see that. I decided. And my sister Brianna, she's 14 years old. She lives with me for six months now. She came down to help me for the summer and decided to stay here with me. Let's go. I would say that I'm kind of like a strict parent, but also a fun parent. My kids don't really know what exactly I do for a living. They have an idea that I do something in the social media world, but they don't know that it's adult content creating. I try to keep them away from it. I, I wonder why. At my kids, what Who I cares do, about my sister? They're much older. I feel like they're still so young and they don't understand. Oh, 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 the damage like, you're doing to this 14 year old. Even 14, 14 is too young. Yes, no, you're damaging her. Is my it? sister Brianna, she helps me shoot my reels, my TikToks, my Instagram pictures, some behind the scenes so when I'm shooting with photographers. So she's been a lot behind of Behind the scenes of what? <laughs> Well, behind the scenes. You can do it yourself. What do you do? What do you do? You don't need a videographer or director for this sort of content. Your photos can be ass and it'll still work. Well, if you get free labor, might as well. Little boss around your little 14 year old sister. Take these pictures. I'm making 20 bands a month. You ain't making shit. What are you doing to her though? Just keeping that in mind. Like my sister makes money by dressing like this or taking Traumatizing her, her maybe. Yeah. But what happens when she's 18? What happens when she, she, she grows into her woman body and she's like, I want to do this. She's too. been in the field for four years already. It's like, well, well I know what I'm going to do now. I want to make money like my big sis. I look up to her. And then you see your big sis get a house in the next four years before you turn 18. You're like, I could do it too. It runs in the family. And it's nice having family here too. <laughs> okay, look at this. <laughs> nah, that hurts my heart. Am I man. done yet? I need to have her up, help you in the first place. Um, it actually kind of happened by accident. We were out at the grocery store and she started, I was like, hey, can you can you take this video of me real quick? Because normally I would use my tripod, but I didn't bring it with me that day. So she started taking it and I was like, you know what, maybe you should just be my tripod. <laughs> I really want to like do more photography when I grow up. And this is like, I, like it's really helping me. As, as in a foot in, I don't, you're not getting the same experience, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're better off going outside and taking pictures of the plants. So my life, when I first got divorced, I was working at a dental office. I was a receptionist. So I would rarely see my kids. It was always just like a busy go-go life. 
right here. So I'll have you sh like shoot me from here. Get the fuck in front of me real quick. Started doing adult content creating because of. I mean, she doesn't look bad. Mm hmm. Why not? In my first month, I made a little over three grand, and that was a little more than what I was making at my. Just off rip. Five. Not bad for a first time go around. Go. So now I'm making 30000 a month. So that's amazing. We got 30 bands. You could pay somebody else to do it for I you. Honestly, my goal was to make like 10 and I've like killed it. So. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm not going to stop. The difference it's made in my life and my kid's life is that I am able to be with them. And that's really it. You just need Instagram and TikTok and you can funnel all these weasels to go like, pay for this. Really? Like they can just all do the same thing. And it's crazy how it works. Too. I'm surprised that there's so like, if you already subscribed to three or four girls, are guys up to like a hundred or are there just so many other men that are just buying each of these girls once? You have to post the reels to market your adult content. It's crazy. Yeah, really. I think it's like the TikTok. They get big on TikTok and they bring that to Instagram. And they get big on Instagram and then TikTok and Instagram are like the big funnelers yep. to click the link. And it's just a selfie and, and they just say click exactly. the link. Exactly. And that's their promo. Or it is a, them nude and they just put the freaking emoji over it and says click the bio if you want to unlock this and then you want to see it off. It's just too common now. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. But I'm just amazed that like it's still, if there's enough people for her to still make 30K a month. <sighs> Like, and this is a random girl I've never heard of. Like, there's enough for all these girls. Oh, like, yeah. Like, there's just enough dudes. There's enough people to find you from this algorithm. And there's enough money to go around for all the, everyone. I thought to myself, like, now if every girl starts doing this, it's not going to mean as much. There's not going to be as much money. No. It's almost just like OnlyFans is just like a Costco. Like, you can get a membership. People pay that extra monthly thing for the Costco because you get all this stuff. And it's so mainstream now. You're selling your sexuality for strangers online. Oh. And obviously, people are going to pay for that. And I can't imagine how many girls that that are like very attractive or not even want to try it out and they're in college and they're like you know they're bored in between or after their classes same way we started our youtube channel in college with our free time imagine these girls are like well i'm 18 and when you need money and then they, and then it booms off and then they graduate college and they're like fuck the degree that i just got mm -hmm. like i just made this much all four years doing this <sighs> Yeah, my younger sister knows a friend that that went to her high school and like two months ago she made OnlyFans and she's ugly as hell and she said she made 2K her first month. I was like, you're joking. She said, yeah. And she has no following on Instagram. I don't even, I didn't even ask her how she got that. And like, yeah, no, that's just what it was. And I was like, how does, how, what? All the friends probably bought her. Everyone that went to school with her like, oh shit, I gotta check this out now. You know, that's what it is. The morals become hazy when there's like money involved too, so. Mm -hmm. And then even if you're posting your nudes, you could, you almost would probably like wanna make yourself feel better. Like what well, I'm not doing the SEX tapes like these purple, or I'm not shoving stuff off my arse. Like I'm just, I'm doing, just doing a real. I'm just doing a real. And yeah, I flashed it, but like, I'm not doing all that. What's right and what's wrong is different to everybody. And it's just so normalized to this point where it's just unbelievable. I, it's crazy. It's crazy how big this is. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the 14 year old recording the content? Not good at all. I think it's very, very bad. Ma'am, if you're making 30 grand a month, you can just hire someone to take mm -hmm. the photos. Even a, a photographer for one hour a day, you would get that's like light work. And you just do it once a week, load up all day. You don't need her. A lot more now. And this year I was able to purchase this home. I used to live in a not good area where there was a lot of crime. So I was very happy that I was able to give this nice stable. See, it's like they're flexing all the good things about it, but they're not showing. Yeah. What do you think about what your sister does for work? I think whatever she wants to do is like her choice and if she's happy, honestly. No, no, media trained. No, first off, you're media trained. What do you think? Not whatever she wants to do, exactly. she can do. No, no, we fucking know that. She's a grown adult. Yeah. all. What do you think? There's this like abuse and power here where it's like, you're doing this for me. Well, and that's the older, and yeah. She's, I'm a kid. I'm a child, you're the older sister. You just want to do whatever your older sister wants to do. She's not even, she's not, she can't even be a real person. She only answered for her, not herself. That's all that matters. Cause why would you be at a job that you're not happy in when you could do something that you love and be happy doing? You know? Well, um, and they're not showing her 30k pictures. It's more than just these sundresses. <laughs> Think about it. She's not gonna tell her older sister that's way older than her. Like, what are you doing? Like, don't what, do that. You have no fucking morals. You're not gonna say that. You're not gonna say that. We're family. Just take a picture of me. You're okay with like? I can't imagine how dark this gets. And the little girl says, uh, "Why do something you don't want to do when you could do something you do want to do?" If she had a husband and the husband was the breadwinner, would she be posting scandalous pictures online for horny no. strangers? She wouldn't even care about this. The 30k is what. 
what's hyping her up, you know? It's just messed up because technically, technically the kids are winning with more clothes, more food, bigger house, better school, whatever the case may be. But it's all she had to do is just learn a skill that could have made her more money. And then she could have got a better job, but she, ah, just taking the easy route. That's not right. The nuclear family is gone. Families are destroyed. This is the new family. It's the no father, four kids, and I sell my sexuality for strangers. So while there are, yeah, the kids have food, they have this, they live in a nicer area. That is all fine and dandy, and I'd much rather them be in a nice area than a bad one. But then, yeah, there's that little fun caveat of, so what are your daughter, like, what do your daughters think of you and how are you bringing up the next generation of girls and whatnot? And your younger sister now thinks it's completely acceptable to sell her body if she so chooses. Yes, you can do that. And absolutely, you're entitled to do that once you're 18 plus. But is that really what, like, is that really what we're trying to do? I, I bet you it's already bleeding subconsciously into what she's doing in her 14 year old day to day life, whether that's clothes she got, buys, things she's looking at at night. Well, yeah, because she sees how much much looks is so important to her older sister. So she's gonna go shopping or be with her friends and be so, so now she's trying to buy what she's wearing. Push up bras cause her mom or her sister's doing it and the clothes that her, her sister's wearing. Or she's talking to a, a young boy and now she's sending him explicit pictures. Well, I take pictures of uh, my sister all the time. It's one of those things where sure, the problem is solved, but in the end you're doing yourself a disservice because there's little side effects that don't creep up until much later on. Yeah. And now it's a big fucking problem. Problem. Everything comes with a cost, and that cost might just come later down this road. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be there. There's a cost for everything, so facts, you know. Some of my friends were supportive, others were not. Some of them actually distanced themselves and stopped talking to me. Friends. Those are real friends then. They were trying to tell you so don't do that. So my friend is Ziri. We've known each other for like six years now. I am very nervous seeing her today. How are you? Fake ass. How are you? <laughs> see you again. Nice to see you too. I'm gonna sit over here. Oh, look at the camera. Look at the camera. Camera guy right there in the mirror. About that, I was doing adult content creating. She was not happy. She was one of the ones that was very judgmental about it and told me that I was ruining my kids' lives. <laughs> ain't, ain't no laugh after that. It's coming from your best friend, or your friend at least. If a friend of mine said something that I was doing and said, hey, this is ruining your kids' lives, I probably wouldn't laugh it off. I'd probably be like, hey. Reconsider maybe? So um, we had a fallout and she distanced herself. Hasn't really spoke to me since I told her. Oh, uh, great. I know you, you were struggling. I saw your situation. But I know you could have held it out a little bit longer. Mm. A different avenue or just asked for help some other ways. Instagram influencer, YouTube, like they do nowadays. I feel like... Too hard. Too hard. The adult industry was where I saw the most income the quickest. Facts, facts. The, the freedom it's given me. How did your sister come about um, helping you in that? You're bringing her along into that business and industry as well like you just said, it's photography you know, <laughs> yeah she shouldn't be exposed to that she's not though she just takes pictures of me in outfits in a bikini my sister sees me in a bikini whether she's filming for me or not so i don't feel like i'm exposing her to anything she's just holding the phone and no, no. She's right at all. No. no, 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 no. But the picture she's taking, you're looking sexual. It has a sexual undertone. There's, there's an undertone of you being sexual the whole time. Every every pose, everything is sexual. Yeah, you're in a bikini, but it's how you're it's, posing. What are you doing? What is the intention? Let me see. Let me see some of these bikini pics. I bet you bent over, arched up, and you had your little sister take a picture from the back. Yeah, it's not a family That's, photo of you guys at the beach in your bikinis. Like, nah, it's not that. This is just cognitive dissonance on her end where she's made her claim and she's had she now has to stand in it because mm -hmm. she can't be like, you know what, you're right. Yeah, the cameras are on, the lights are there. It's like, she got to double down. Which I, this is what I think people should do. Like, if you are wrong or you know you're on some wrong shit, be like, you know what? Yeah, it's not. It's not really right. I'm desperate for money. I don't really have any marketable skills. This is a rough patch in my life, but you know, I'm, I'm hoping I can work through it. But you know, this is going to help me take that next step, I believe. I, I don't want to do this. I'm going to do this future. a couple, I'm going to do this for a couple more months to open up a business. And then I really want to try this instead because I do understand this isn't good. But does she expect to do this for the rest 
of her life. Like, are, are the OnlyFans girls gonna go? Because there are the OnlyFans moms and grandmas that are doing it. Like, are they just banking on this? Like, are they Shit. banking on no other source of income? Like, just this. This will be interesting to see how this plays out over the course of the next. Well, like, what happens if OnlyFans just gets shut down? I'm, it, it won't. It's a fairly new thing too, so that people are taking full time as their occupation, even. So mm -hmm. who knows? Recording her older sister does for money. No, she doesn't see that though. She just sees, she's just helping me make TikToks. Oh shit. I mean, change it all or? Honestly, no. Once she changes what she's doing, it might change. She lost a good friend. Damn. You have, you know, the right to feel that way. Um, it, it just hurts that you still can't see my side. It just sucks. Too. Her side doesn't make sense though. though. Just be honest and say like, you're contradicting yourself. I'm desperate for money. That does Just not say that. You. But it does affect me in a way. Cause you're my friend. I want the best for you. I see you're doing good, but I wish it just wasn't this way. Thank you for having this conversation with me. We got nowhere. Not one I'm still making 30K a month, so. The outcome, but at least, you know, we finally sat down and talked about this. Yeah. Yeah. At least we had like an actual sit down. It's not an actual sit down with the cameras there. I've received a lot of judgment online. I get a lot of negative comments about like, your kids are gonna hate you. You're ruining their lives. What are they gonna think? Aren't you scared of them seeing like what you put out there? That sort of stuff. And she just thinks that's answer that, gibberish. Answer that question. I get a lot of positive comments. She just thinks that people are just making that up out of nowhere. Yeah, just saying that I'm just cause. They call me like the hottest milf in Arizona, so. <laughs> oh, she <laughs> loves like that. that. Yeah, she does. I feel very proud of myself that I'm able to give them this life and not have to worry or stress about how I'm gonna make ends meet next week. So, very proud. Oh yeah, like I could rob a bank and say the same thing. I could buy 20 credit cards on the black market and scam it and run it up. Isn't that the Robin Hood like concept where you steal from the rich and give it to the poor and it's like what you just said there. What if I go and scam someone and steal their credit card info but give it to my kid? Which is, this is pretty much a scam. Effectively, what yes. What they do is pretty much a scam. It is. And I'm not condemning like sex work as a whole because I know many people who do it and it's a very popular thing and that's fine and dandy but I view it as like the, the Wally where it's all the fat people. These things work here and there, but when popularity of this grows and you start to ruin family after family after family and now nobody understands, there's no morals anymore and we all just kind of live in this sort of me, 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 well, whatever, just fucking works. I'll just sell sex. And everyone starts doing it, then society crumbles because now, this is such a complex topic with so much nuance and different avenues. I just say don't involve the kids, like. There's no Keep point. The There's absolutely no point to involve any sort of kid. I don't have any problems with adult co content creators, but a 14 year old child assisting with her? No, yeah. that's disgusting. Let kids be kids. That's bonkers. There you go, that's what we're saying. Doesn't this break COPPA laws? She's not old enough to provide informed consent. If you people don't think this is dystopian, then I, I've lost all hope of humanity. I agree. Leave your little sisters alone, please. Peace.